Hello again. Uh, following up on the last videos covering uh, different ways to select elements in ARCHICAD uh, working more efficiently, um, I want to talk about how to isolate elements out. Um, unfortunately, I'm working just from the template here, so there's no real practical project to review for this, but uh, the main idea is still the same. Uh, the idea that we might want to only look at portions of, uh, of a space. For example, if I have a very small room, uh, like a bathroom or something, uh, I might not be able to see into that room if I bring up the whole model. Uh, you know, just really quickly here, if I look at like a space like that, uh, pull into the model, uh, it's an object. Uh, if I'm in that space, uh, you can see how difficult it can be to navigate and view portions of that model. Um, so the different ways to isolate that kind of stuff out uh, to look into that room. Uh, one of the easiest ways is actually uh, using a marquee. Um, and just like we talked about uh, in the previous uh, selection options, selecting via marquee, um, you want to make sure that you're using the correct marquee so that you're showing all stories or current story only. Um, and then marquee out maybe a, a part of that room so that when I type F4, um, now I can see into that space and uh, start working in more detail on maybe cabinetry or corner, uh, a trim in the corners and uh, crown molding and things like that. Whatever we have in that room, uh, I can work in 3D and isolate portions of that out uh, by the marquee. Another way to do that is uh, just to select the portions that you need. Uh, and again, typing F4 uh, will bring up that part of the model. Um, now, if I wanted to refresh and rebuild this with the whole model, I just type F4 again, and it opens up the entirety of the model. Um, so, and, and you can do that in 3D as well. You can select different elements, and again, review the, the selection method videos uh, in the last post um, on the most effective ways to select those things, and type F4. Uh, one important thing to note is some element types are sub-elements. So like doors, for example, are sub-elements of walls, as are windows. Uh, skylights are sub-elements of roofs. So if I were to isolate out just a single door, for example, you'll notice that the wall has to remain, but all other openings within that wall disappear. So if I want to see all openings within that wall, I select the entire wall and type F4, and then I get all doors and windows associated with that wall. Um, so you can select and isolate elements out um, by uh, uh, selection, by marquee, um, also by layers. Uh, so you can use the quick layers palette, for example, that's this palette right here. Uh, and I could say I want to hide uh, other layers. And then I only get these layers uh, visible in 3D or in 2D. Uh, sometimes the model gets to be a little bit cluttered and so you need to isolate certain things out. Uh, you could say uh, hide the selections layers or other layers, depending on how you want to isolate those things out. Uh, in floor plan, um, you're sort of limited on how you can isolate parts of the model. Um, layers are kind of the primary way to do that. Um, we do have, in our layer combos here, if we look, uh, some modeling layer combos. So you can view the, the shell of the model, the whole building with no landscape, um, interior, there's some preset, these X series layer combos are specifically for isolating out portions of the model. Um, so the structural elements, for example, isolating out just the structure and relevant portions there. Um, and, and we can certainly expand that as needed on a project by project basis. Um, so layers are another great way to isolate those things out, uh, isolate elements and portions of the building out to work more efficiently. Um, the next way to isolate out is this filter and cut elements in 3D, which is under the view, ele or view menu um, and under uh, elements in 3D and filter and cut elements in 3D. Uh, the standard shortcut for most people uh, working with the WWA work environment is going to be command option A. Um, and this is a great way to isolate out in 3D by tool. So for example, I could say I don't want to see anything except the walls uh, in 3D, or maybe walls and doors in 3D. And you can see that that's just cycling things on and off. Um, you can also isolate out by stories. You can say I want to limit to the second floor. And here I see that there's nothing on the second floor there. Um, as with the marquee, you can even isolate outside the marquee. 
So if, for example, I had a marquee around this and I want to exclude that part of the model, um, you can see that I'm isolating everything outside that marquee area. Um, so that, that can be an effective way to uh, isolate portions of the model as well. Um, let's go back to all. And then the other thing you want to make sure is that zone is not selected here because the zones in 3D get really clunky and get in the way. Um, another way to quickly isolate things out, if you eye drop an element, it's going to grab that tool. And just like with the selection, you can eye drop and type Command A and then F4 and it's going to select and isolate all of that tool type. So in this case, all the slabs in the model. Um, and then the last thing that I want to take a look at here is if the model gets really big and you need to see full detail, um, and if for some reason you don't want to isolate via marquee, um, you can isolate out with a cutting plane. Um, in this case, I'm just going to grab cutting plane here. And you can see that I can pull back the cutting plane there, say finalize. Um, I can grab that cutting plane and I should be able to discard it. Um, oh, there we go, delete cutting plane. Um, the cutting planes can be a little bit tedious to work with. Uh, they're semi-permanent to your local data on a teamwork file. Um, so I don't generally use them, but uh, they can be helpful at times for like uh, 3D axons. They can be saved specific to a view in the view map. Um, and they, they can make working uh, in 3D a little bit easier. Um, one other thing about uh, that marquee, if we, for example, were to uh, marquee this area again uh, and isolate this out, notice that if I select the slab, I still have access to all edges of that slab. So if I wanted to pull this edge back, even though I can't see it, I can select the slab where it's visible. You know, where it's being cropped off, I can't click there, but I can click here and pull this edge of the slab over or pull this wall over and relocate portions of elements that are extended uh, beyond the marquee area. Um, and then also along the lines with the marquee, uh, this is something that we've discussed in most training sessions and other sessions. Um, I can have like an odd shape like this, and then use my marquee with the space bar um, to magic wand that area uh, and type F4. Oops, let's go back here. F4, and then I can have uh, basically a non-linear or non-geometric um, marquee really quickly uh, rather than like tediously clicking around uh, with other geometry methods. Um, just use the space bar to magic wand other polylines. Uh, that's all for now on isolation. Uh, we'll have another follow-up session on uh, quick tips coming soon. Thank you.